Hello YouTube, welcome back to another great 1707 video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remotely shut down another computer on your network. I'm going to make this very simple because my last video I uploaded there were so many problems with it. People didn't know how to do it, there were errors. I'm doing this on Windows 7 to a computer on XP. Okay, so start by getting the IP address of the system. If you don't know how to do this, I'll put a link in the description and in the video somewhere to another one of my videos that I just uploaded to find the IP address of a system. If you do know how to find the IP address of a system, that's great. I'm going to run through it real quick just to get the IP address of another system on my uh, network real quick and to refresh your memory if you know how to do it. Uh, run command prompt ping computer name right click mark Here's the IP. This will give you the internal IP address, by the way. For your external IP, Google what is my IP address, just to avoid confusion. Now, now that you got your IP address of your system, go to Run and type shut down. Uh, yeah, shut down space dash I. I'll put all this in the description in case you have any problems. Um, Okay, the shutdown dialog box pops up. Click add, or if you're on a domain network, click browse. In this case, I am not, because I'm not a on a domain. In this case, click add. Put the IP address you found in the box. Okay, you can do shutdown, restart, or annotate an unexpected shutdown. In this case, we're just going to shut down. You can warn the users of the action and display the warning for 30 seconds, give or take. The reason? and the comment. This field is required for the reason you selected. If you put annotate unexpected shutdown, you don't have to put a comment. So we're just going to put here virus detected or something. And click OK. And the computer should be shut down. If it gives you an error, you did something wrong. Or you're not administrator. In this case, I'm an administrator. This is my username, and I'm under the administrator group. If you're under the users group, if you're under the users group or the guest group, you cannot do remote shutdown. You have to be administrator to do this. You can open up the command dialog box, but I don't think it will let you um, perform a shutdown. Now, um, that's all I have for you today. I'm sorry about all the problems you guys had in my other video, and I'll see you next time.